this video is going to be all about how to make your iPhone say or speak iMessage text when you actually get that text. Naturally, there are some things that you should know about it and most importantly that it doesn't work just with your iPhone and you need some other things in order to be in order to make this feature supported. And of course, if you have your AirPods or compatible Beats headphones, then you can use it. You can also use it when you have a CarPlay that supports it on your car, of course, so you can use it in those instances. And in that case, Siri will announce your incoming messages. That means that it's going to tell you who it's from and it's going to read the content of the message. And just like you know, Apple, they're all about privacy and stuff. So this only works when you, when you are like in a closed space or in a personal area. That means that you have your headphones and that means that nobody else can hear that or you are in your own car and in that case it's also kind of private i guess so you will be able to turn it on by going to the settings and then you tap on a notification then you can see the section called announce notifications and you of course have to make sure that it is turned on so you just turn on so once you get a text message, of course, keep in mind that you have to have the headphones like I talked about, and you also have to have them in your ears, they have to be paired, and your iPhone has to be locked in order to make this work, which sounds like a lot of steps, I guess. But if your screen is turned on, it's just not going to, it's just not going to announce it. So once you get a text message, Siri will play a tone. It's going to announce, like I said, who the text message is from. And it is going to either uh, read the entire message if it's not too long. And if it is, it's just going to tell you that you received the text message and that's it. If it just does that, you can ask Siri to read the entire thing. Or as they say, if you are not driving, you can definitely take a look at it. The interesting thing is that it doesn't even work on every AirPods or any headphones. And there are of course some other ways to make iPhone read your text messages. But before we go into that, I want to say that if you're new on this channel, just consider subscribing because I try to post videos like these all the time, like three or four times per week in order not to miss future uploads or at least see those videos show up on your YouTube page, just make sure to subscribe and let's continue with the video. Like I said, it doesn't work on every AirPods or every headphones and you need to have AirPods for that, but if you have the first generation of the AirPods, it's not going to work either. You have to have at least second generation of the AirPods, then you need to, or you can have AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, or the AirPods third generation that have just been released in October 2021. Or you can use Powerbeats, Powerbeats Pro or Beats Solo Pro. But as of right now, these are the only headphones that support it or any other car that has CarPlay capabilities. There are also some other options how you can make iPhone say or speak the text messages to you. You can still use uh, the good old uh, Siri command to speak the messages. So you're just going to trigger Siri by holding on at the side or home button or you use the command to trigger it and then tell her to read simply read your text messages to you out loud and it's just going it's just going to do that or you can and you have some other options as well you can literally go to the messages and swipe down with two fingers on the screen of the text messages and Siri is going to start reading pretty much everything that it can see on the screen which in this case would be the text messages, so I guess that this would work as well. If for some reason your iPhone doesn't do anything when you swipe with two fingers from the upper portion of the screen and doesn't speak anything or read, then it's probably turned off and you need to enable it in the settings. So make sure to open up settings of course, go to the accessibility and then tap on spoken content. And the option which says speak screen has to be enabled. This is the thing and the option I talk about when you swipe down with two fingers and it's gonna start read any text that it sees on the screen. Keep in mind that asking Siri to read your text messages out loud to you or using this speak screen feature is like an alternative to the announcement of text messages. The announcement is great, but like you know, it only works with certain headphones and 
usually people don't have them like all the time so if you would like to use it without wearing the headphones then i'm showing the options to you right now you can also select individual text bubbles and make siri or your iphone read it out loud I can hardly imagine how this can be useful or a great feature to have, but I guess that you have that option. So you just go to the setting, I mean, you just go to the message, of course, and hold down to the text, and it should give you some options, including the speak option. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind in case you would like to have that or try to use it, I guess. This is probably going to be more useful in case there is a very long text message and you just don't want to bother with looking at the screen all the time to read it or you just want to like save or make your uh, eyes rest for a moment and just make the iPhone read the text to you, I guess. I mean, it just depends on your situation or what you want to do with it. But I don't think that there are any other options like you don't have the announce for uh every occasion only when you're wearing headphones and you can select text or make it speak in different ways but that's pretty much it i don't think that there is anything else at least in the native system of ios which i would recommend you to stick to i wouldn't really go ahead and download any third-party text messaging tools or whatever i would just stick to the original apple stock messages Anyways, we're getting close to the end of the video. I really do hope that you found some interesting things in it and that it really helped you. And if the video did help you in a way, then consider leaving a thumbs up. This does help all the time. And it just makes sure that uh, the video can show up to more people. And it just keeps me going, of course. You can subscribe as well so you don't miss future uploads and videos that, that may help you too. And yeah, see you guys later in the future uploads.